So here it is, the house from the front. It looks perfectly normal and in good shape from the outside, but you'll see as we go inside, things are a little bit different. Um, basically all the houses this way were, fl were flooded, everything this way. And if you can tell, there's quite a big slope from the street to the front of the house. So, I mean, just imagine how much water was out here. So I really love the brick and the shutters. Um, the siding is actually vinyl, which we're gonna leave for now, but we might change in the future. Um, the windows we're going to replace. We're gonna change the front door. So the roof is in good condition. So we don't have to replace that now. A huge selling point was the mature trees that are in the front and the back that we just love. Walk to the driveway. And then here's a view of the driveway. Brick wraps around the side. Another really pretty tree here. Two car garage. And then one of our favorite spots is the backyard. Look at this tree. This is stamped concrete. Just looking into the back of the house. So here's the garage. It actually, they put double doors on the side, pavers extend around the back. And the yard is not huge, but that's fine for us. It's less grass to mow, right? Now I'm in the back corner of the backyard looking at the house. Okay, let's go check out the inside. completely gutted. Everything. This is a little hard to show because the framing is all open, but this area here is the entry. And then this room immediately to the left is technically supposed to be the formal living room. But since this house has, you know, a formal living room here, and then this room over here is the den, we are going to use this as the formal dining room and a feature i love is this raised ceiling and the previous owners added um, the beams and the wood paneling to the ceiling we're going to leave all that we're taking down all these track lights um, we are going to paint this white but then leave the larger beams white. The fan will be replaced with a new pretty light fixture. So imagine a really large dining table here, chairs, rug, um, new window. But I love the size of this window, so that's going to stay the same. And then that's the wall. To the this is the wall to the family room. So what we're going to do is not knock the entire wall down, but we're going to cut out a really large cased opening um, so that light flows from this front window into the den because when we go in there you'll see it could get a little bit dark um, so we're going to make that opening as large as possible so to make it sort of open concept without completely knocking walls down so i'm still in the dining room that's looking into the entry and then this next room here um, on the original floor plan they used this room as the formal dining room I don't know if you can tell, it's just kind of small for a modern dining room. And I've gone round and around, okay, how can we use this room in a way that's functional and flows well with the rest of the house? And I've actually decided I'm going to use this space as my home office. I love the natural light in the front. So looking into the office, I want you to see this wall here. I found an inspiration picture of what I wanna do. I'm gonna show you that next and then explain. I want to completely remove this wall here and then do a full height steel window on this side and on this side with just an opening in the middle. What do you think? And I actually have some of those windows. My dad salvaged some out of an old high school in West Texas that was gonna be torn down. So I would just need to have them powder coated and add glass 
but I think that could be a really cool feature. Okay, moving right along. This is the kitchen. Again, it's not a huge space. So we will be doing cabinetry here. Upper cabinets will go on this wall and wrap around this corner. The sink will be here, dishwasher beside, of course. Um, and then on this side, instead of upper cabinets, I want to do two open wood shelves with, with a decorative sconce above. I'll show you a picture. And then on this side of the kitchen, there will be pantry at the end, then fridge, and then a bank of cabinets and upper cabinets. The oven range will go in the center microwave with the microwave above. And then this opening here is into the family room. We're not really changing the layout a ton um, just for budget purposes. We're flipping things a little bit for the most part it's going to stay the same. Uh, the flooring in this room, the office, the dining room, the den, and through the hall, we're going to do engineered wood flooring, which I've talked about before, but I'll show you a picture of that. It's gonna be light. And then with the kitchen being over here, under this window, this is the breakfast area. I'm still debating whether to do a built-in banquette the table in front and a light fixture hanging down or the other option if there's not a banquette just to do a regular round table with four chairs then over here this is going to be this is the laundry room and then this is a half bath so of course washer dryer here upper cabinets might have room for a tall storage cabinet over here and then in the powder bath, the toilet will be on this side, small pedestal sink, mirror. This window will be replaced. I don't even know what happened to this back door, so that is going to be replaced as well. So now let's look at the family room. These French doors are solid wood and they're a pretty high quality door. I would probably not pick them if it were up to me, but they're in here and I'm getting okay with them. So they're gonna stay. This is a storage closet here. That's the walkway into the entry. And then remember the big cutout's gonna be in here. So that natural light from the front will come in here a little bit more. Cause as you can see, it could get a little dark in here. Another feature that we liked is the pitched ceiling in here. The beam will stay, we'll do a new light fixture. Um, okay, this is a big point of contention. I want to rip out all this stone. Don't kill me. It's very nice. It's just not our style. Um, I do have the original floor plans of this house. And the floor plans say that there is brick under here. So we're gonna try to demo the stone and paint the, and paint the brick underneath. Um, TV will obviously go up here. We're sort of toying around with the idea of a projector and then the screen, a pull down screen would be here. That would be kind of cool. We don't know if it's a little too fancy for us. God bless you if you're still with me. Okay, let's walk down the hall. So this is guest bedroom number one facing the street. Love the big window, decent sized room, small closet. I'm leaving the room. This is the hall bath which you'll see, if you can get an idea, it's a pretty big size. This is where the tub shower will go, toilet, and then this is the space for the vanity cabinet, which this can hold like an eight foot long vanity, so I'll probably change the plumbing and do double sinks here. And just so you know, of the ceilings throughout this house, except for the, except for the living room, they're eight foot ceilings. So going down the hallway again, Bedroom number two, this area right here is the closet for this bedroom. Okay, in the hall, this is a hallway closet where we're hopefully gonna store all the AV and electrical components for the TVs and all of that stuff. So let's go down 
This is the master. Again, not a huge room, but when we were looking at houses, something that was important to us was a larger living and kitchen space. And really, we don't spend a ton of time in bedrooms, so if those were smaller and the house had a good layout, that was fine. So the bed will go over here with nightstands, plenty of room for a king size bed, so that's great. And then the window from the master, I really like this, it looks out into the patio. This is the closet that Richard and I are both going to share. It's small, <laughs> it is a walk-in closet. Um, so I can do a lot with um, adding some different organizational things but it was a little bit of a concern for me. So we'll do a his and hers side and I'll just have to trick it out somehow. Okay, let's look at the master bath. Also a little bit small. The master shower was this little small angled weird shape. We are going to extend it probably about to there. So it's gonna be a lot bigger than my vanity will be on this side. And then on the side, new window, the toilet, toilet will be here. And then Richard's vanity cabinet will be on this side. So it's definitely gonna be functional. It's not huge, but it's gonna be good. These older homes, the baths are typically not huge. And to get more square footage in the master bath, we would have to totally rework the entire master suite and probably take space from the next bedroom over and moving things like that just would take up a really big chunk of our budget. So we're gonna make it work um, with the layout how it is and just try to do some smart things for storage. So we are super excited. That's the end of the house tour. 800, 1836 square feet. Three bedroom, two and a half bathroom. So I'm now gonna be working on the renderings for the kitchen and both of the bathrooms. I'll be keeping you updated with all of that design stuff, so stay tuned.